Infield up a double play depth. The pitch to the park. The reason I twirl the bat because if I stand here waiting for the pitcher to pitch, I have a tendency to lock all these muscles in here. My forearm, my wrist, my hands. And as a result, by the time the pitcher gets ready to pitch, I have all these things locked up. And it's going to slow my bat down and enable me to hit properly. So for me to be uh, relaxed, and in a position to hit, I have to twirl the bat to keep myself relaxed and then be able to time it so that I can swing properly. And that's the way I've been able to hit. And it's probably the only way I can. Do you ever have a tendency to have anybody try to quick pitch you while you're in the middle yeah, of that? Yeah, I can, I can definitely uh, time a pitcher from the old deck circle. Now they talk about the power in the wrist, the arms. You also feel that the muscles in your back have a lot to do with the power you generate. I think that's the anchor of two powerful uh, hitters. Anybody with power has to have something that they can connect those powerful arms to. It's like a spring action. One offsets the other. Really leading off in the bottom of the second. No score. Hit in the air to deep center field. Bunbury going back, all the way back at the fence. Gone. He can hit it out anywhere. So the great man comes through and gives the Bucks an early lead. His second home run of the World Series. 